All right, I'm doing the head today, and uh, I'm going to do as much as I can. I've got a friend that I've been friends with for over 30 years visiting for a couple of days, and so it's going to be spotty whether I get in the studio or not this week, so just wanted to let you know. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. I've got several pictures of uh, Jim Bridger. This is the youngest photo of him, or is attributed to being him. And this is the uh, one near the time of his death, I guess. I don't know. It's when he was much older. But anyway, I'm just uh, going to be using these to uh, work off of. All right, I'm going to get the center line down this face. I just double check to make sure the uh, head was the right size for the body and I'm going to go half across there half there and half there the one thing that I've noticed about uh, Bridger's face he's a little square faced and I don't know if that's because of the beard he's what got on her on his chin but uh, that's what I got and let's do a little get the uh, eyes started I always start with the eyes I don't know why but I do And he's got heavy cheekbones, so I'm going to give him heavy cheekbones. Okay, what I'm doing is just adding the features of his face. Now he's got kind of a interesting upper lip. That might be too much clay. Well, as you can see, I've not been filming a lot. And, uh, I cover a lot of this in my instructional videos. And that's one reason why I haven't done too much as far as showing you what I'm doing. Um, 
take a look at a review of each one of my videos. There's a link uh, to it, to the website where you can do that. And uh, if there's a video that interests you, uh, you might want to buy it because I put my 50, over 50 years of sculpting into uh, the videos. And uh, you're getting a shortcut to knowledge that took me 50 years to figure out. All right, I'll be back in a second when I get a little further along on this face. All right, in the photograph of uh, Jim Bridger, attributed to being Jim Bridger, he's got some heavy ch chin whiskers. Now, in the old photograph, that definitely was him. Ah, if I can get it up here. And get around everything. Um, he's got those same chin whiskers. So it was a style of chin whiskers he did wear. But when he was younger, it looks like it was a little fuller and uh, a little heavier. And it looks like his hair is a lot messier in this one. Which will be fun to put into the clay. All right, I'm gonna get, keep busy on here, and I'll be right all right. Back. I didn't show much. Um, my friend was here in the studio. And we had nice conversation, and I just got carried with the conversation. So, anyway, um, I've got the face to where I like it. It looks good on the body. Let me let me take a break here, and I'll show you what it looks like on the uh, figure. So I just slip it into the uh, hole there, and uh, as you can see, the head is perfect proportion to the body. And now that gives me the information I need to create the personality in the clothing and all, in his body. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, where I'm at now. Tomorrow I'll work on his ears and his hat. I, that is if we don't do something, my friend and I, because we might go for a drive or something but anyway um we'll be working i'll be working on this uh clay this week but I, just like i said before it's going to be a little spotty because i've got my friend i haven't seen for years and uh it's nice to have him around all right good night everybody see you tomorrow or whenever and uh have a great night if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.